Hey there, it's Erin from Little Self Learning. I am back today to play more sound games with you so that you can help your little one become a stronger reader. So I've mentioned in previous videos that if we want our little ones to be strong readers, we want to strengthen their phonological and phonemic awareness skills. So that basically means their ability to hear and manipulate the sounds in spoken language. So this does not involve any supplies. They don't need any letter cards. This is all done orally, which is great because even if your little one doesn't know their alphabet, they should still be playing these sound games if you want them to become a strong reader later on. So I have a download called Playing With Sounds. I have already done videos showing games from the beginning preschool level. I will link that below. Those are called the Voyagers. And then I have a video explaining games that I would do with my mid preschool level. Those are called the Explorers. And today's video is going to be games that I would play with my advanced level preschoolers, which is what I call the Inventors. Now, the inventors, this advanced level preschoolers, is actually much more aligned with kindergarten. So if your little one is not there yet, no worries. We have some preschoolers who are ready for this advanced work and some that are not. Don't worry if yours isn't, but I just wanna give an example of how I would play these games with a more advanced student. You ready, friends? Okay, I'm gonna say a sentence and I'd like you to count the words in this sentence. You ready? I like to be kind. I like to be kind. Five words, great job. Say sunshine, sunshine. Now say sunshine without sun. Shine, very nice. Say raincoat, raincoat. Now say raincoat, but change coat to bow. Rainbow, great job. I'm gonna say two words and I'd like you to come up with another rhyming word. You ready? Sand, band. What'd you come up with? Hand, that's a rhyming word. Great job. Say name, name. Now say name, but change aim to ought. Not, great job. All right. Now I'm gonna say a word and I'm gonna say a target sound that you're gonna listen for. And you're going to point on your body where this sound is. If it's in the beginning of the word, you're gonna to touch your head. And if it's at the end of the word, you're gonna to touch your toes, okay? The sound is The word is sister. Where did you hear that's right, at the beginning of the word, sister. Way to go. I'm gonna say a word and I'd like you to tell me the sound you hear in the middle of the word. It's the vowel sound in the middle. Get. Eh, very good. Say bat. Bat. Now say bat without b. At, great job. Say ball, ball. Say ball, but change b to f. Fall, that's your new word, awesome. And now you can practice your alphabet. So you can look at a letter card and you can say the sound of the letter to make sure that you know all of those letter sounds. Great job. So that's how I would play these sound games with my preschoolers. I just gave one example from each category in the sound games, but in the download, there are multiple examples for each category. So for the rhyming section, there are multiple questions to ask them about rhyming. Or for the phoneme isolation of the medial sound, that vowel sound, there are multiple words that you would give them to have them listen for the middle sound. So it, I just did one to save time, one from each category, but you can see the breakdown of the categories and all of the examples in each of those categories by heading to littleselflearning.com. I will link it below so you can read more about these sound games. I highly, highly, highly recommend you play these games with your little one. I promise you, if you work on their phonological and phonemic awareness skills now, they are going to be much stronger readers when the time comes for them to learn to read. So if you have any questions, please reach out and let me know. Other than that, happy learning.